Hello today. Today we'll be learning how to make a duct tape lily. All you need is some wire. I'm using twisty tie stuff because it's really nice. I'm going to be using purple duct tape for the petals and orange stuff for the middle stem things. So all you need to do is cut off six of these wires and then make the sixth one longer for the stem, like so. You'll also be needing to cut off three other ones about the same length as the shorter ones. So about this length. This is about maybe three inches. So you need three of those. So we're going to do the um, middle parts first. So you have your three pieces. You can take some orange duct tape. I'm gonna make about like an inch, half an inch, something like that. And then I'm gonna go like this, take a piece of the piece, and I'm gonna cut into thirds. Make sure you don't cut yourself because that won't be good. Yeah. Okay, that's stuck together. So you have three your three orange pieces. Gonna go like this, take the orange piece, sort of like how you did with the roses, and then you're going to do, oops, that's crooked, like this, and then you're going to roll it. Ta da! You're going to do that with the three other pieces of the same size, and then you have this. One more. Oops, that's cat hair. See? Next, you're going to take your purple duct tape. And cut off a piece about this length. Take your long piece. This is kind of tricky. So have it. The sticky side. You know, and you place it on the duct tape. Like so. Now you take another piece and place it on the opposite side, about the same distance. So you have like a sign. That's what it looks like, a sign. So if you make two more of those so you have three of them. Next, take your orange, your purple duct tape, not the orange, this is purple. Make this another cut about the same length as this piece, give or take. And you're going to fold it together, sticky sides together. Kind of have a little more than I need. So, we're going to, it doesn't really matter, but as long as you have the, the wire on the stick covered. And make sure it's all connected. The, if you're doing this for the first time, it may come out a little bubbly or wrinkled. It doesn't really matter, but you could do it again if you want. So, you're going to do that with the other two. Another piece of duct tape, purple, not orange, purple. You can do it orange if you want, or any other color. Sticky sides together. Oops, this piece isn't long enough. Mistake. So, since that piece isn't long enough, I'm going to do it, retry. Cut it longer. Okay, that should be good. Stick them together. So, oops, that one came out wrinkly. Doesn't really matter. See, purple side, both sides. Now you have the third one. Do the same thing. Another piece. They're kind of the same side. And you stick them together. Oops, not long enough. Oh well. 
So, that's a wrinkly. Next, we're going to um, take your scissors, go like this, and cut them down the middle, like so. So you have two signs. They kind of look like one of those stop sign things that warned you there's a stoplight ahead. Anyways, do that with all three. So now you'll end up with six sign like things. Hold on. Yeah. Like that. Oh, I'm missing a petal orange thing. Ah, there it is. That was it was hiding. So you take this and you cut it like that. So you can have the circle. See? Oops. You have a petal like shape. From this to that. I'm gonna do this with the other ones also. Oops. Make sure you get all the sticky stuff away. See, there's like a... On this one, there's a little tip right here, so make sure that's not there anymore. You can fold it over if you want, but I just cut around it. See? And they keep on running away. Um, so keep on cutting. Oops, this one has a piece that's not long enough. But just cut through it. It's going to be shorter petal than the other ones, but it doesn't really matter that much. So just um, keep on cutting them. And my petals are trying to run away. They do that. And then keep on going. These. There, I usually, I didn't thought to make these, um, how I learned, I just was looking at a picture of a, um, lily and I was like, hmm, I'm going to try that. So that's what I did. And it came out pretty nice for the first time. It wasn't the best, but it works. And I think this is the last one petal. Yeah, this is number six. They're kind of oddly shaped, but I'm trying to make this video not really long, so just bear with me. Okay, you have your six petals, and I forget what these called are called technically, but they're this middle part of the flowers that the bees like, or the butterflies. So you have these three, put them together in a stack. You're going to put the petal like so, but yeah like this. So there's, you need to roll, there, ah, they're sticking together. Three stem, like so. Three on one side, three on the other. You can do eight petals, but three usually works best. So you have a stack. Oops, it's trying to run away. Okay. So you have a stack of these, and since I messed up with this one, I'm just going to use this. Well, I might cut it in half, but oh well. Usually I use uh, half the size of this, like this bottom half, but oh well. You take it, stick it to the side, like so, and you fold it and wrap it really tight as you can. like so. So you have all the petals kind of messed up there but we'll fix that in here. Then you fold it over spread it out spread these out you can shape them wire is always good so you can shape them slide that over that one over see? It's a lily so to finish the wire thing right here, it's kind of long, so I'll just go like that. Make sure there's no one in front of you when you do that, or you might end up with it in your face. 
another piece. You can do whatever color for the stem, but I just happened to grab the purple first. And roll it like you did with the duct tape rose stem. Ta-da! And there you have it. A lily out of duct tape. These, I generally like these ones. They're fast and simple. Take up less duct tape. And they're really sweet looking. So that's all for today. Join me next time and I'll teach you how to make other flowers or whatever. So this is me signing off.